Hi guys, welcome to this new video on Angular 17. This is the ninth part of this tutorial series. In this video, I will be talking about two very important pipes, which are async pipe and the JSON pipe. I've already created a video on the built-in pipes and creating custom pipes. Uh, this concept async pipe and JSON pipe require an understanding about the services and dependency injections. So that's why I am talking about these concepts in a separate video after I have talked about services and dependency injections in my previous video. So I've already created this empty Angular 17 project with the name async JSON pipes. It contains nothing except the default files which gets created when we create a new Angular 17 project. So currently HTML file of this app component contains nothing. This component contains nothing and now first of all in the terminal i'm going to create a new service so i'm going to name that service let's say ngg s for service services slash and i'm going to name it user okay so this is the service which is gets created and here inside this uh first of all i'm going to create a new function so get user is a new function and it is going to return an observable okay observable of type any we can create an interface I've already shown you how we can create an interface but we can use any as well it will not throw any kind of error so currently observable does not exist we need to import that from rxjs uh, we can call an API because uh, the concept of async pipe can be seen uh, or can be practically implemented when we have API call that is returning observable and then we can use async but there is a function from rxjs called off which will behave like we have called an api and then that api have returned some kind of data okay so just to simulate that behavior of the api call it is going to return off and then it is going to return me the name and then uh, let's say uh, the email Alright, so assume that it is calling an API uh, because of this off function, it will return an observable by default. So from the previous video which I have created, you might be thinking that uh, here uh, we actually need to use the subscribe function in our component in order to call this function, then we will be able to get the data because this function is returning observable, but this is not the case. We can use an async pipe without using the subscribe function and still we can simulate the response from an API because this off function is just like an API call response. Okay, so now in this particular service, um, I think that's pretty much it we need to write in this file. Now let's come back to our component. And here, uh, first of all, in this particular component, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to add a constructor and then we need to write the private user service. user service from that path it will be automatically imported above as you can see all right so after this constructor uh, let's create a variable which is going to receive so let's receive it in the user equals to this dot user service dot get user this is the function we have created you can see that i'm not using subscribe at the moment in order to console log or print the data over here in this component we need to use subscribe but if we need to only show the data in our html then this is not always required to use the subscribe function okay so now uh, i'm going to come in this html file and here inside this div let me first uh, use name user dot name and then we have p tag and then we had an email as well right like this ok 
okay so now let me first run the project okay so currently it is throwing an error let me see what is this error so uh, you can see that async json pipe ng serve property user does not exist on type app component okay so i'm gonna go over here let me save it now yeah the still the same error now in this particular component uh what i need to do first of all is use static ngf and here i'm going to check if user variable exists then i'm going to use async pipe as user okay uh, actually i need to write an equal to sign now if i come over here you will see that there is no error but we need to import ng for ng if directive in order to use that so here inside the import i can use ng if from angular common and i will also be needing uh, that async pipe and i will also be needing later on the json pipe okay now when i'll save it there will not be any error now you can see that it is actually showing the data which was being returned from that service okay so how cool is this particular pipe that without using the subscribe for that particular observable uh, we can simply use async pipe in order to show that particular data now let's quickly talk about the slash uh, json pipe actually so <clears throat> this is where we have to create our json data so quickly i'm going to create a, an object so user data this is the object i've just copied and now if i try to print this data in my html let's do that so dev and here uh, let's first add the heading user data and then i'm going to use this pre user data without json pipe at the moment so currently you can see that it is simply showing object object uh, in order to show any particular object or an array of objects or any kind of json data in a proper format we can simply use the json pipe all right so you can see that it has simply showing the data as it is as uh, we have added in this particular file in a formatted way all right so how cool is that so this was about the async and the json pipes in angular 17 do subscribe my channel and like my video and comment below if you have any question thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video